Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. So today we're going to look at the things you can't say on the radio in the UK. There'll be another video on the things you can't say in the US, but today is all about the UK radio. So the most important thing is in the UK, AM, FM and DAB radio is all regulated by Ofcom, which is the Office of Communications. Ofcom has a broadcasting code of many words you can and you can't say on the radio. And whilst we're trying to cover the main topics in this video today, I do advise you read the Ofcom code before broadcasting on the radio so you're across everything. So whilst we have freedom of speech in the UK, as mentioned in the Ofcom code, there are quite a few words you can't say. If you did say those and Ofcom found you in breach of their code, they can slap a hefty fine on you or worse, they can take away your license and stop you broadcasting. So it's a very serious code which you everyone on the radio has to oblige by. So unlike the TV which has a watershed at 9pm, radio doesn't have one. However, Ofcom do give you quite strict guidelines on what you can and can't say at certain times of the day. Most of these guidelines are based around when children could be listening. So for example, 4pm on a weekday is quite likely that a child could be listening on their drive home. And you wouldn't want to be playing songs that swore or also songs which contained anger, sexual references or drama like that. However, if you wanted to do this late night, let's say, 11 p.m. you could but you do have to keep in mind there is no official watershed and it is down to you to make that judgment if i was you i just wouldn't do it at all so let's look at news we all know the saying fake news whilst whilst you're presenting news on the radio you have to be factual you can't be impartial or biased towards anyone it is always recommended to have a trained qualified journalist on a news program to make sure what you're saying is fact if you're unsure of something or if you're unsure it's a fact we're advised not to send it at all because you don't want to mislead or misrepresent someone whilst portraying the news however we are all humans and we all make mistakes so if you did make a mistake or you misquoted someone we'd recommend subtracting your statement straight away and clarifying the situation so it is clear what you're trying to say so another thing you need to be careful on the radio talking about is religion we all have our own beliefs and our own thoughts but we shouldn't talk about others thoughts or beliefs on the radio we shouldn't make up facts about religions whether that's our own views or someone else's views so we would recommend just avoiding the subject and staying clear another thing which changes throughout the year is talking about politicians and interviewing them whilst most time on the radio you can interview any politician you like if they agree to it and you can give a politician say 10 minutes and another politician from another party five minutes there are certain periods like the election period when we have a general election or the local elections where you have to be fair and impartial to everyone for example if you gave 10 minutes to x party you would also have to offer the other party 10 minutes now they don't have to come on but you have to be clear and offer that party the same amount of time as everyone else got you also can't show any bias and you have to be completely impartial during election time what you're saying on the radio shouldn't influence anyone in changing the way they're voting. So talking about elections, on election day, once the polls open to when they shut, you should be interviewing councillors or MPs and you shouldn't be talking about anything political. All you should be saying is the polls are open and you can encourage people to go and vote. You shouldn't tell them what to vote, you shouldn't hint at what to vote and you shouldn't mention anyone's names. And finally, for stations who rely on fundraising, sponsorship, advertising, it's important to remember you can't sell or sponsorship the news. You can sponsorship the weather, but you can't sponsorship the news and it should be very clear on air that the sponsor isn't anything to do with the news. So whilst we mentioned at the start of the video, we would definitely recommend you read the Ofcom Broadcasting Code. It has a lot of really helpful information on it, including a breakdown of the exact words you can and can't say on the radio and the categories those words fall into. For example, there could be some swear words which fall into a lower category than others. So definitely recommend you read the Ofcom Broadcasting Code, but hopefully this video has kind of given you a brief outline of some some of the main things you can and you can't do on the radio and hopefully it will help you in making great radio until next time take care and happy broadcasting hey i'm james founder of radio.co before you go anywhere i've got an interesting question for you do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful gets lots of listeners and does very well and a radio station that perhaps 
kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.